Hi guys, it's Janet. I'm um, making something a little different today, something a little heavier than I usually make. I've been just really craving some cheese crackers and I've made these um, vegan so-called cheese crackers before. I'm making it a little different now, so I'm seeing how it is. Basically what I have in here is um, some soaked cashews, some sunflower seeds, which is my first time using them, and some almonds. Um, I peeled mine after I soaked them. That's kind of anal retentive, but I'm like that. Um, probably about a cup or so unsoaked. And I'm just going to dump that in here. And I'm going to put some um, red pepper in here with it. And I'm just putting in about a medium red pepper. And I've seen a couple of recipes for this and um, made it before. It's really good, but I kind of put my own little spin on it. Um, and I'm going to put about a half of a lemon in here. And like I said, this is not really a very light <laughs> dish. It's not a big weight loss dish. But if you can eat sparingly or if you're going to eat some crackers, at least it's, you know, alive and living food. And sometimes, you know, we're not perfect. We want something. I think now, too, that the weather is getting a little cooler. I've been craving a little heavier food. I don't know what that is because I was perfectly fine. I think I'm going to do a water fast in a few days. But for right now, I'm making cheese crackers. Um... And I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper in. Uh, it's probably about a half teaspoon. If you don't like, um, probably like more like a teaspoon because this is a tablespoon. It might be too much. Oh, whatever. If you don't like uh, super spicy food, put in less. But, you know, it's pretty, um, it's pretty good for you. And I love spicy food. And I'm going to put in like a heaping tablespoon of some nutritional yeast. Give it that cheesy flavor. And um, I'm going to put in some Herbamere, my favorite. And then I'm just going to uh, blend that up a little bit. I was going to put some black pepper, but I don't think I need any. Uh, Got to get the top of the food processor, sorry. Everything's coming out of the dishwasher from my last episode food. And I'm just going to process this up, and I'll see Hi you back. Hi, guys. It's Janet again, and I've um, processed the cheese, the cashew and nut mixture. I actually added another tablespoon of nutritional yeast and a little bit more salt. Um, you might want to, the last time I made it, um, I might have oversalted it a little bit. Because when you dehydrate stuff, you concentrate the flavor. But it's just really smooth right now. And um, I'm going to spread it out. So I'll let you see it. Well, I'll go ahead and do that now. So if I, I wish I had an Excalibur. This probably would be a little bit easier. But, you know, got to work with what you have. So basically, I'm just going to take this. Let me move my Vitamix out of the way. And I'm going to just hold it my blade and dump this out. I've got a sheet on my um, dehydrator. And basically, I'm just going to dump out all of this and spread it out. And it's, it's going to be a little easier to do if you have an offset spatula. That would be ideal. But if not, um, you know, just use a butter knife like I do. I'm going to have to get an offset spatula because I keep talking about it. So once I've um, spread it out, I'll give you another okay, video. Okay, I've got um, my crackers all spread out on my sheet inside my dehydrator. So now I'm just going to put them on. I've got making some coconut jerky, which I'm totally hooked on. I made that in an earlier video. I'm, I mean, I'm just I'm a turkey or a jerky. Not turkey. Oh, my God. I keep saying turkey. I've been eating turkey in almost a year. Um, 
I'm a coconut jerkyaholic. So I'm just going to really put that on the highest setting for until I go to bed in about an hour from now. And that's 145 on my dehydrator. Um, and then I'll turn it down to probably 115. So um, basically I'm just kind of going to let a crust form on that. And it's not going to heat it up to 145 after an hour. It's still pretty cool, but it'll just form a crust. And then in the morning, I'll come in and attempt to turn it over. That didn't go so well last time. Uh, I still ate it. It was still freaking awesome. It was really good tasting. But when I turned it over, I turned it over too soon and it broke into a thousand pieces. So I may do that again, but I just, you know, gathered them up and put them in a container and took them with me where I was going. So, all right, we'll see how it turns out and if I can turn the mythical you know, uh, cheese crackers. So we'll see in the morning. Thanks. All right, Bye. let's try to turn this sucker over. I've already kind of gone around it. And like I said, my last time was pretty uh, terrible, but I dried it more this time. So let's see how it goes. Let's see. I think I'm going to get a little knife or something out. Yeah, because it's still pretty wet under here. Let's see. So far, going better than last time. I don't know if it's going to be perfect, but last time, I mean, it was a true disaster. <laughs> but, you know, it was still tasted good. It doesn't have to be pretty. I wasn't taking it to uh, present it to the king or queen. I was just, you know, making it for myself. And this time, I'm having the same theory. That if it's not perfect, that's okay. And if you have something like an Excalibur and you have the Teflex sheets, you won't have this issue. This is my um, old and cheap dehydrator. But you know what? It gets the job done, and I want an Excalibur, but it's just hard for me to get rid of stuff that works when I have some, you know, and spend money I don't need to. I've been looking on Craigslist for an Excalibur, but it's like the Vitamix. I'll probably end up buying a new one. Nobody gets rid of this kind of stuff, it seems like. Okay, not so bad. It's got a, it's a little broken up, but not bad. So, hold on. Here we go. Um, I've got my coconut jerky underneath. going to turn the dehydrator back on 115 degrees and let it uh, dry for a while. I might take the coconut jerky off and I'll give it a try. But I'll let you know how it turns out. my finished cheese crackers. As you can see, they're pretty crispy. I'm going to leave let them dehydrate for a little while longer, but I couldn't take it any longer. They were so yummy and I kept snacking on them. But um, they, uh, if you want to make them pretty and like a square or diamond shape. You can just score them before they're dry. And that way when you turn them over, you can kind of break them up into shapes. I'm just going to put these in a um, container, so I don't really care. But they are mighty fine. So if you feel like you're having Jones and for cheese or cheese crackers, these are a really good alternative. Until next time, I wish you much love. God bless.